Honorable Chairman of Telangana Legislative Council, Honorable Speaker of Telangana Legislative Council, Honorable Members of the Council and Legislative Assembly, extraordinary success of the state of Telangana is due to the blessings of the people, the skillful administration by the Honorable Chief Minister, the hard work of the people's representatives, and the dedication shown by the government employees. There was a time when the state suffered due to power cuts and darkness across the state. Today, due to efforts made and hard work done by my government, there is 24 hours power supply and there is brightness and light everywhere. There was a time when the entire agriculture sector was distressed today, the state is able to supply food to the rest of the country and has become the granary of the country. There was a time when people used to fight for every drop of water. From there, the state today is able to supply treated and safe drinking water through taps to every household of the state. There was a time when rural areas presented a picture of poverty and distress from that today, Telangana villages are completely transformed and have become models with a very high quality of life. Telangana today is investor friendly, attracts the top class companies and multinationals in IT and other sectors. The state is making rapid progress in protecting the environment and increasing the granary also, the state is getting accolades across the state. My government faced the innumerable challenges to bring the state from a desperate situation to what has become a model for the rest of the country. Lots of uncertainties had to be faced. Obstacles had to be overcome skillfully. In a short span of eight and a half years, Telangana achieved a number of successes. The whole country today is awe of the progress made by Telangana. Today, the state is not only economically strong, but also one of the top perf performers in the country in welfare and development. Economic development. Due to the enormous effort made by my government, the total receipts of state, which were a mere of 62,000 crores in 2014 and 15, have increased to 1,84,000 crores by 21-22. The per capita income of the state, which was rupees 1,24,000, 104 rupees in 2014 and 2015 has increased to rupees 317,115 by 2022 to 23. After formation of the state of Telangana, the growth rate of several sectors of the economy has now become doubled to what it was earlier. This progress is due to the focus on capital expenditure by the government. I wholeheartedly Congratulate the government for this spectacular progress. Agriculture and irrigation sectors progress. My government has achieved historic progress and stabilized the agriculture sector. We have made history in this sector. People used to say that agriculture was wasteful. From that stage today, we have made it a festive activity. With the supply of free and high quality power, the confidence of the farmers has increased. Mission Kakatya has restored the tanks built during the previous regimes. The pending projects were completed and new and cut is added. On a war footing, major, medium and minor irrigation projects were constructed. Check dams were built. My government has built a major multi-level lift irrigation project, Kalishwaram, in a record time of three and a half years. The project has attracted international attention. When the state was formed in 2014-15, Telangana had irrigation facilities for only 20 lakh acres. The same has increased to 73 lakh 33,000 acres today. The government is determined to achieve the target of providing irrigation to more than one crore acres of the land. The target also would be achieved very shortly. 
the historic right to ban world stage telangana is the only state in the country which has transferred rupees 65000 crores to 65 at all stages the crop sector distribute contributes 18.2% towards the state gsdp now there is a discussion among the farmers of the country about the agriculture sector development which has taken place in telangana success in electricity sector when the state was formed the installed capacity of electricity was 7778 megawatts only due to the enormous efforts made by my government now the installed capacity has gone up to 18453 megawatts the per capita power consumption in 2014-15 was only 1356 units by 2021-22 this has gone up to 2126 units the enormous increase in per capita consumption of power is a clear indicator of the fantastic progress made by the state mission bagiratha drinking water to every house by ensuring that a full stop is put to all the drinking water problems of the state telangana has achieved historic success mission bagiratha has been successfully implemented and has ensured that all the habitation of the state get safe drinking water the union jal shakti ministry has declared in the parliament that there is no fluoride problem in telangana dalit bandhu revolutionary scheme my government has introduced the revolutionary dalit bandhu scheme with the aim of economic empowerment of the dalit community the scheme the scheme today has become like a north star for the entire country in the history of the country after the efforts made by bharat ratna dr baba saheb ambedkar for the welfare of the dalits this scheme is the only one which is inspired by his work and is aimed as comprehensive development economic empowerment and infused with the revolutionary spirit this is the first time in the history of the country that every dalit family will get a grant of rupees 10 lakhs this money is to be used for employment generation by investing in an asset or business there is no need to repay this grant in addition to the financial assistance the government has also established a dalit rakshana nidhi the aim of this fund is to ensure that no beneficiary slides slides back economically in the case of a setback to the family apart from this the government has also ensured that the dalits enter in commercial and business activities by providing special quotas in government licenses asara helping hand for the poor my government is a human government by redeeming the promise made may during elections in to reduce the age of the old age pensions to 57 years the government has sanctioned lakhs of new pensions the government is spending huge amount in of resources to provide a safety net through asara to various segments of the poor such as single women differently abled bd workers filarial patients dialysis dialysis patients etc welfare of tribals when telangana was formed as a new state the proportion of various communities in the state population underwent significant changes when compared to the combined state my government has accordingly increased the reservations the proportion of st population to the total population in the combined state was 6% and accordingly they had reservations post formation of the new state the proportion has increased to 10% as per pledge made to the adivasis and tribals my government has ensured that the reservation to sts is increased to 10% there was a long standing wish of the st people to have their own administration in the tandas and gudams to meet this popular aspiration my government has made 2471 tandas and gudams into gram panchayats with this a total number of 3146 tribal representatives are working as sarpanches and are ruling over their habitations as local administrators welfare of bcs welfare of golla kurmas to rejuvenate the rural economy my government is providing special assistance to the rural assistant artisans and other communities who are dependent on traditional livelihood the government has taken up the massive program of distribution of 7 lakh 30000 sheep units with a total outlay of 11000 crores today the shepherd community of telangana has the largest number of sheep in the country 
to meat production telangana is ranked fifth in the country in meat production telangana is ranked fifth in the country welfare of fishermen my government has taken up large scale encouragement of the fishing sector this is done by make, taking up the fishing activity in the newly formed reservoirs constructed for irrigation and other water bodies the fish are grown are grown in these water bodies and tanks and the fishing rights are given to the local fishermen community only welfare of textile workers my government has taken up a number of welfare measures to rejuvenate the badly neglected textile sector today we are able to provide adequate work to handloom and powerloom weavers the government distributes crores of sarees to women of the state during the badukama festival all the orders of the manufacturing of these sarees are given to the handloom and powerloom workers under the cheneta mitra scheme 50% subsidy is given on chemicals and yarns an insurance coverage of 5 lakhs is provided under the netanuk bima scheme the entire premium for this scheme is being paid by the government welfare of toddy tappers my government has introduced 50% reservation in wine shops for toddy tappers the tree says on that toddy trees is abolished furthermore even the old dues were also written off there is an accidental insurance of rupees 5 lakh provided for the families of the toddy tappers the government is introducing nira as a soft drink thereby creating additional employment opportunities for the toddy tappers my government is providing free electricity up to 250 units for laundries and saloons with this measures the government is ensuring the welfare of washermen and the barber communities prior to formation of telangana state there were only 19 bc residential schools my government has increased the number of bc residential schools to 310 this is aimed at ensuring the bc communities get good quality education the government is constructing 41 community halls for the welfare of bc communities in very prime lands of hyderabad a few of these buildings will be inaugurated soon welfare of women the father of the indian constitution dr baba saheb ambedkar said that the measure of the development of a country is the progress achieved by the women of that country my government is implementing a number of welfare measures aimed at improving the lives of women under the arogya lakshmi scheme the government provides nutritious food along with eggs and milk in all the anganwadi kendras of the state the arogya lakshmi scheme was appreciated by niti aayog the anganwadi workers of telangana are amongst the highest paid in the country my government has increased the honorarium being paid by to asha workers from 2000 to 9750 rupees the government has increased the salaries of home guards anganwadi workers asha workers and all the other contract and outsourcing employees along with the government employees telangana is the only state in the country which has provided such an increase in wages and thereby ensured that even the small workers get fair treatment my government has introduced 33% reservation for women in state civil police jobs the innovative she teams program program aimed at controlling eve teasing and violence against women has shown excellent results this program is much studied and other states are also replicating the same kalyan lakshmi and shaadi mubarak my government provides financial assistance towards marriage expenditure of girls from poor households under the scheme an assistance of 1 lakh 116 rupees is provided so far 12 lakh 469 girls have benefited under this program welfare of minorities my government has earned the trust of all communities of the state due to the equal treatment provided to them due to the strong belief that the only way the minority communities can develop is through education the state has started 203 minority residential schools during the initial years of the formation of the state itself now other state has such a large number of residential no other state has such a large number of residential schools for the minority community we have now upgraded all these schools to residential junior colleges 
The state distributes special gifts during the festival seasons of Ramzan and Christmas. The women of the state are given saris during Badukama festival. As a government which is concerned about the welfare for journalists and also for advocates, a number of welfare measures and insurance schemes are operated by these trusts. In several categories of jobs, the state government employees are among the highest paid in the country. This clearly shows the friendly attitude of the state government towards the employees. Appointment in government jobs. There is a fear of recession across the world. In such a scenario, a large number of multinational companies are restoring to laying off their employees. Even in such difficult situation, the Telangana government is fulfilling its promise of recruitment to a large number of government jobs. As announced, the government has taken up recruitment of 80,039 jobs across all the departments in one go. In addition to this, the process of regulation, regularization of the contract employees is also going on to ensure that 95% of the jobs go only to the local candidates. The organization of the jobs into local cadres was done. For this, the state was able to get a new presidential order issued under Article 371D of the Constitution of the Constitution. From 2014 onwards till February 2022, my government has been able to fill up 1,41,735 jobs through the direct recruitment. In all, Telangana state is taking, in all, Telangana state is taking up recruitments to 2,21,774 jobs in a short period of eight and a half years is creating history. Education development. To provide high quality education to students from poor families, along with nutritious food, my government has given utmost importance to residential education. We are proud that no other state in the country has more than 1,000 res residential educational institutions. The students of these institutions have performed very well at national and international level. They have been admitted to prestigious institutions and universities across the world. The government has started the massive scheme uh, in education known as Manavur, Manapadi, and Manapals, Basti, Manapadi. The scheme is aimed at providing infrastructure in the government schools, which is on par with the best of the corporate schools and provide high quality education to the students from poor and marginalized communities. As part of the scheme, the government proposed to spend rupees 7,289 crores in 26,065 schools to provide 12 different kinds of basic amenities. All the works under this program are going on at brisk pace. Already in several schools, the works are completed and these facilities are put to use. Public health. Nidhi Ayok has placed Telangana at number three in the country in terms of provision of health care of high quality. The government has improved the basic infrastructure facilities in all hospitals of the state. T diagnostic centers are established in 20 districts so far, and the balanced 13 districts also are going to be established. A total of 104 dialysis centers are presently in the operation across the state. Oxygen beds are established in all the hospitals of the state. Four super specialty hospitals are going to be constructed across four different directions in, the, in Hyderabad. It is planned to add 2,000 more beds in NIMS. In Varangal, a super specialty hospital with 2,000 beds is under rapid construction with an outlay of 1,100 crores. There were only three hospitals in the Telangana region which were established during the combined state's rule. My, my government is moving forward with the aim of establishing a new medical college in every district. So far, 12 new medical colleges have been established with this total number of 17 medical college in 16 districts have come to have come into existence they are providing medical education to students as well as treatment for patients we will have nine more medical colleges which will be established during the current financial year the government has established 342 basti dawakana dawakanas for the poor people in urban areas the dawakanas are providing excellent services inspired by their success the government has decided to establish Palle Dawakanas. Telangana has made commendable progress in various health indicators due to interventions such as KCR kits, nutrition kits, Arogya Lakshmi, and several more. The deliveries in government institutions were only 
30% before the formation of the state. Due to the effective measures taken by my government, it has gone up to 61%. Similarly, the maternal mortality rate was 92 for every 1 lakh deliveries. By 2022, MMR has come down to 43. The infant mortality rate in 2014 was 39 per every 1,000 births. By 2022, this has come down to 21. Palle and Patana Pragadi. Palle Pragadi program was introduced by my government across the rural areas of the state. With this, the quality of life in rural areas has increased significantly. With excellent coordination between the government and the local bodies, a very good plan was implemented, which has resulted in improved sanitation and green cover. Every gram panchayat of the state today has basic infrastructure such as tractor, trolley, dump yard, nursery, palla prakriti, vanalu, and vaikunda damams. I am very happy to inform you that in the awards which are announced by the central government for the gram panchayats, Telangana is getting the lion's share. The status of sanitation improved with the implementation of Patana Pragadi program. This has led to an improvement in the functioning of urban local bodies. Some of the facilities which are now being provided across the cities are integrated veg and non-veg markets, public toilets and Vaikunda Dhamams with modern amenities. The union government recently announced awards in several categories for the best performing cities and towns. With 26 awards, Telangana is one of the top performers. It is noteworthy that 75% of the awards given to southern states were bagged by Telangana. Haridaharam. The Telangana government has undertaken Haridaharam program to maintain ecological balance. The program has utmost importance and people are participating in it like, mo like a movement. In Telangana today, there is abundant greenery in every village. Forest Survey of India in its report has stated that the green cover in Telangana has increased by 7.7%. Hyderabad city has been recognized as the tree city of the world. Industry and IT sector development. My government introduced TSI pass with the aim of developing development of industry and IT sectors. This has brought a revolutionary change in these sectors. 24 hours good quality power, safety and security provided to all sections of society have ensured that there is a flood of investments from both international and national companies. Industrial production has increased significantly. Further, employment generation also has happened on a large scale. Over the past eight and a half years, IT and industry sector, Telangana, industry sector, Telangana has been able to attract investments to the tune of 3 lakh 31,000 crores. The IT sector has shown an employment growth rate of 140%. Reconstruction of Yadagiri Kutta Temple. Reconstruction of Yadagiri Kutta Temple is a historic wonder. Lord Narasimha Swami is worshipped by all Telangana people. My government has reconstructed the temple in a glorious manner. It is built such that the spirit of the Lord is felt at every corner of the temple. Naming of new secretariat of Baba Saheb Ambedkar. In a manner befitting the new state, the new secretariat building is being constructed. I congratulate the government in this august house for deciding to name the new secretariat in the name of the architect of the Indian constitution, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. To ensure effective governance, the government has provided modern facilities which are on par with international standards. I feel happy to inform you that an 125 feet tall statue of Ambedkar is under installation by the side of the new secretary. The, sta the statue is a befitting tribute to the great B.R. Ambedkar. Similarly, on the opposite side of the new secretariat, the Martyrs Memorial is also getting ready for inauguration. My government has increased the number of districts to 33 to take governance closer to the people. A new integrated district office complexes are constructed in a spacious manner with all facilities. 
public safety and security. The people of the state are able to lead a peaceful life due to effective maintenance of law and order. To control the crime, the government has deployed 9.8 lakh CCTV cameras across the state. This is the largest such deployment in any state. The newly established command and control center will help the state to effectively supervise relief activities during any calamity or emergency. The command and control center is established with world-class standards. My government has an equal focus on welfare and development. We are progressing fast, fast along the path of the development. Even though we are only eight and a half years old, we are already a role model for the entire country. There is a discussion going across the country about Telangana development model. My government promises to the people of the state that we will move forward with the same inspiration and sincerity with which we have worked so far. Karuvandu, Kattakamandu, Mandu, Kanipinchani, Kalalepdo, Pasipapale, Nidura, Kanulalo, Musirina, Bavitavyam, Yento.